When she was born, she looked normal. And you know, at that young, you don't know about developmental delays. There's nobody there that really answered your question. You have a doctor that said, yeah, she got cerebral palsy. We really didn't know what direction to go in. And uh, Val finally got, I don't know how she got involved, but uh, CRS finally contacted her. And that's the best thing that could have happened to our family. I've been blessed the school system is very good. The CRS has just been another tool to help. They've helped from the school system side, CRS has helped from my side, um, to be an advocate for Sydney, but then to also assist the school to help in Sydney and with other students in the classroom. When I first started um, teaching Sydney, one of the first things that um, I did was Valerie and I sat down and had a meeting together and I told her from the beginning that I was going to need her input a lot. She was going to help me, you know, help me learn Sydney. When we moved into the school system, Sydney is very involved physically and mentally. But not having a child with issues before, it was a new process for me. The school system, it was new for them too because she was the most involved child they had experienced at that time. It was a learning experience for us as parents with a uh, child with special needs. It was a learning experience for the school system to have a student with special needs. They were just, I guess, in the same lost state as we were as a parent. They were the school system. How do we accommodate this? What do we do? And when the CRS came in, they stepped in with the individual development plans, coming up with suitable accommodations to accommodate the school system and also us. There's just been so many different angles that CRS has given to, to me to give to the school system and then to the teachers and the administration. The thing about the special education curriculum and the thing that you know is, is the most beneficial to me is just the way it's not just the teacher and the student. It is the, how the whole team comes together and really tries to do what's best for the student. CRS has got a wonderful technology um, clinic that Sydney started in back when she was probably four years old, maybe five. Um, and we started trying technology, different devices then through the CRS clinic. Well, in the use of technology, we've been able to unlock her brain and been able to get what we could see was in her eyes, but you couldn't get out of her because she is nonverbal. I didn't think much was possible be honest with you. My hope was lost. But CRS, when they started coming in and started doing individual development plans with the school system, I see Sydney advance. Sydney now is using an iPad with a communication app on it very fluently to tell you what she wants. Um, when Sydney first started at Drew Middle School as a sixth grader, she had recently received her iPad. Um, and at that time, Sydney was just learning to scroll up and down with her fingers through the iPad, learning to navigate her communication app. Um, and you know, that's where we started. And they have plans, they have goals, and they know, looking at her condition, what she could actually meet. Now, if you fast forward that to today, it's just amazing how she can communicate with the iPad. Back then, I th there, there's no way she could even touch a button on an iPad, turn it off. Now she's scrolling through pages, she's showing people pictures. You know, today, Sydney can, with, with no prompting, Sydney can come up to a stranger with her communication device and say her name. She can tell, you know, I want something to drink, um, I need help. She can point out parts of, you know, I'm sick, I don't feel good. Um, you know, that's major. You need, a, you need an organization out there that takes care of these kids with special needs. You see me on the field today running around. And not just my kid, I go to all the kids. Her independence and her communication are the two biggest things that make her personality shine. So CRS, I, they're just too important to our family. They're part of our family. I couldn't see Val or myself or even Sydney's life or her other daughter now without the use of CRS. Because it's like looking at a phone book. Unless you know what direction to go, what page to turn to, you have no clue. And CRS helps you narrow that down.